this video I will show you how you can program a Lego version 3.0 robot to do simple obstacle avoidance, detecting obstacles with the ultrasonic ranger and controlling the motors to back off and turn into a different direction. I have already programmed it to test the project and I'll show you how it all works. If I power the robot, the walls will start from taking forward and if it reaches obstacle, it will try to back off from that obstacle. We will use Visuino to program the robot and then we will test it. Start a new Visuino project. Click on this down arrow button and from the menu select Add Shields. Select Elego Robot V3 Shield and click on this button to add it. Close the Shields editor. In the properties, expand Shields and the Elego Robot Shield. Then the motors. We will add slope to start and stop the motors slower so they will not start and stop suddenly with high speed. We will add slope of 2. For both motors, stop and run. If we scroll down, we will see that the shield has added ultrasonic ranger to the Arduino. We need to check if the distance from the ultrasonic ranger is smaller than some value, as example 70 centimeters. By default, the ultrasonic ranger returns values in centimeters and we can change it to inches or just time values. The time is the time it takes for the pulse to return. To check if the value is below some level, we will use Compare Analog Value Component. We will search for it in the Component Toolbar. Pick the Compare Analog Value Component and drop it at front of the ultrasonic ranger. Connect the ultrasonic ranger to the Compare Analog Value. We need to set the Compare Type to be smaller and set the distance, 70 in this case in centimeters. We will use this compare to stop the robot from going forward and start turning it backwards in one direction, so we can avoid the obstacle. Once the ultrasonic ranger stops detecting the obstacle, this value will change. However, it is best to continue to back off a little further so we will be sure that we are completely in the clear. For this, we can add delay on off component. And connect it to the compare analog value. We want the output of the component to change immediately. So we will set on delay to zero. And we will decrease the off delay to 0.3 seconds. The delay is in microseconds. We need our digital signal to be converted to analog signals to control the speed of the two motors. For this, we can use two digital to analog converters. I will put them at front of the motors. and I will connect them to the motors. I will connect the on-off delay to the two digital to analog converters. I will select the two converters and I will set false value of one. This will set the motors to full speed forward. When we reach the obstacle, we will set 
the first motor to reverse. So I'll set true value of zero. The speeds of the motors are zero to one, where zero is full backward, one is full forward, and 0 0.5 is stop. To stop the second motor, I will set a value of 0 0.5 for the truth. The project is ready, and now we can click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino ID. Make sure that Arduino Genuino Uno is selected as board and that the COM port where the robot is connected is selected as COM port for the Arduino ID. Click on this button to compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded and now we can test our robot.